To successfully sell embroidered products and make money, you'll need great designs and a solid marketing strategy, which is what you'll learn in this video. While anyone can sell custom graphic t-shirts online, you can sell custom embroidered products to differentiate yourself from your competitors. Selling custom embroidered products allow you to tap into a wider custom apparel market. The global market for decorated apparel was estimated at 25 billion US dollars in 2021, with embroidery accounting for 29.3% of the segment. Embroidery continues to grow as the durability of the products made using this technique is better than printing. With good designs, an effective marketing strategy, and a growing demand for custom embroidery, you can make more money selling embroidered products online. With Printful, you can design and sell over 190 custom embroidered products, from hats, t-shirts, and jackets, to patches, and much more. We offer a unique embroidery technique that involves dyeing the thread to create advanced designs with specific colors and gradients. If you want to learn more about the hottest embroidery products to sell, check out our top 5 embroidery products you can sell with Print On Demand video. I'll leave a link in the description so you can watch it after this video. An effective marketing strategy can help generate sales for your e-commerce business. There's a wide variety of tactics you can utilize ranging from emails to digital ads, search engine optimization, and social media content. We'll discuss three specific marketing tips to help increase sales of your embroidery products and grow your profits. Identify your best communication channels and know how to use them. You want to let your customers know about your new embroidery product launch. There's more than one way to do it. Determine the channels where your customers are most active. Where do they spend the most time? Are they on social media? Which social media platforms? What percentage of your customers interact with your emails? Are there specific pages on your website they spend the most time on? If your customers spend the most time on social media, plan a product launch marketing campaign. Create several pieces of content to post over a period of time. You can create teasers and countdowns before your launch and then drop fun content revealing your new products and highlighting their unique qualities. Creating just one post won't cut it, so be sure to create a variety of content. You can also look into using a social media post scheduler to make posting easier. Let's say your customers spend most of their time on your website. To keep them informed, create a site-wide or homepage banner announcing your latest product releases. If there's a particular page that your customers visit frequently, consider adding a dedicated section for your new collections or promotional material with links to the relevant collection pages. To make it easy for customers to find your new products, set up a general collection page for embroidered products where they can browse all of your embroidered hats, t-shirts, joggers, hoodies, and patches. This will offer them a variety of options to choose from. While the products you create through Printful generate mock-up images for your store, they're just digital representations for your products. For embroidery, displaying real life and close-up details can help make it clear that it's more than just a direct-to-garment printed product. You can use these images for your product gallery or marketing content. There's something satisfying about seeing a well-made embroidery design on apparel, especially when you can see it being worn. You can order samples and take photos with your phone or camera that show close-up details of the product. You can also check how other businesses showcase their embroidery products through their product photos. For example, Ralph Lauren sell embroidered pillows. When you hover over the main mock-up image, a close-up appears, revealing the texture and details much better than the main image does. See if the e-commerce platform you sell on offers a feature where hovering over the mock-up provides a second image with more information. We've put together a video with best practices of taking product photos with your phone's camera. Check it out so you can show your embroidery products in the best light. I'll leave a link in the description. Showcase the qualities of your new embroidery products as you create your content. By emphasizing the unique features of your embroidered items, you can help your customers make informed purchasing choices and help them understand the value of your offerings. One of the key features of embroidery is its durability. Embroidery adds a layer of reinforcement to the fabric, making it long-lasting. Its high-quality finish gives your merchandise an elegant aesthetic that can elevate its overall appearance. Take advantage of this by showcasing your collection and highlighting the versatility of embroidered products you offer. This technique is not just limited to hats. Your customers can enjoy beautiful embellishments on a wide range of fabrics and products, including t-shirts, hats, and bags with fabric that would otherwise not be used in direct-to-garment printing. And with the unlimited color option, you can go the extra mile and offer a broader range of color choices, helping you stand out from your competitors. Try creating an email for your customers that have purchased non-embroidered products where you share three reasons to buy your embroidery products. Also, include a link to a survey to see how your potential customers feel about your current designs and ask what they'd like to see from your shop in the future. 
Being on top of trends is everything, especially when it comes to creating beautiful custom products online. In order to sell more custom embroidered products, you need great embroidery designs. So how do you come up with the next best embroidered design? It's simple, design research. Design research will help you learn what your audience or fans want, making your designs stand out. Let's talk about the steps to start your design research journey. Identify the goal of your design. Do you want to create a design that is more visually appealing or solves a specific problem? Check your current designs and see which category they fall under. If you only have visually appealing designs, perhaps it would be a good idea to explore a design that solves a problem for your customer. Your design can also be a vessel to spread your message and values. It doesn't have to have a specific utility. Maybe you can take advantage of the tactility of embroidery and play around with a design idea for those who are visually impaired with braille. Or have fun with texture therapy inspired designs and embroider a maze or a pattern so your customers can run their fingers through. Experiment and have fun with your ideas. It's time to take a closer look at other designs for inspiration that are similar to what you want to create. Analyze their strengths and weaknesses and consider how you can incorporate their best features into your own design. You can find references in different places such as Pinterest, Tumblr, and Reddit. For this example, let's search through the embroidery subreddit on Reddit. Here you can find plenty of examples of handmade embroidery designs. You can save the examples you find and create a mood board to inspire your next design. Just be sure not to directly copy them. If there aren't many examples of your idea, it's time to become a trailblazer and see if you can break into an undiscovered niche. Now you can create your designs and share your mood board, rough sketches, and details with your graphic designer. If you're in need of a graphic designer, check out Fiverr. This video isn't sponsored, but we do have a referral link with a discount you can use. I'll leave a link in the description. That's it for this video. I hope you found these topics useful for your business. Let me know which of these tips you found the most success with. Thank you for watching. Bye.